Hello world and welcome to another video. So, should you give up on computer science because you find it hard? No! No, 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 no. I should slap you for talking crazy. Do not, do not, do not give up on computer science or programming or software engineering because you find it hard. Please don't do that. All those voices or all those people telling you to do that, push them to the side, ignore them, cut them out your life. You do not need all of that negative energy around you. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Never give up on any of your dreams just because you find it hard. Instead, you have to find a different route to get to your dreams. You know, maybe just the classroom setting isn't working for you. Maybe you legit need to go off on your own and start a project. Maybe you need to take a break from computer science, take a quarter off. You know, maybe you just need to see the information from a different instructor, from a friend. But never, ever, ever give up on computer science or any of your dreams just because you find it hard. It's going to set a precedent in your life that when the times get tough, you stop. Trust me. I, computer science was not easy for me at all. Some days I would cry, you know, I had people telling me like, oh, maybe you're not cut out for this. It shouldn't be this hard, it's taking over you. But I legit just use that to fuel me. And I'm like, why can this person learn it, but I can't. And for me sticking through, not quitting has been one of the best decisions of my life. No, 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 no. You are capable, you are amazing, and you can do this. Remember that it's okay for this to be hard. Like there's a reason why people train every day and you can just use computer science and think about, okay, I will practice coding, I'll practice these algorithms, I will practice critically thinking every day and just help people train for sports or people train for different activities. You can train your mind to think like a computer what people don't like to tell you is that when anybody starts programming, when they start in the beginning, they find it hard. But it's just over time, some people forget like that immediate hump they have to go over. And even for the people who say, Yeah, right off the bat, they just knew this programming language. It really doesn't matter because I found out there's a lot of different types of people that do well in this field. Yeah, there's those people who claim to just understand everything off the bat, but then there's also another group of people that are motivated and that are hardworking, and they are amazing at computer science and amazing at software engineering, and they actually bring a really great perspective to the field than the people who think they're so smart and can code it in 10 minutes and then have all these bugs or didn't think about the different use cases or situations or possible edge cases. So please, please, please don't quit just because you find it hard. I know a lot of people say you have to be passionate about it, but in the beginning, the learning curve can be so steep that you don't even know if you're passionate about it. So just give it time. I used to say I suck at programming and honestly I would suck just because I would say it and like you know part of it I love this quote believe you can and you're halfway there every morning I want you to look in the mirror and say I am a great programmer I am great at computer science I am great at programming and honestly that's the first step that really is, you know, changing your mindset is so important because if you start anything with the mindset of I can't do this, then every little thing you run into every single problem is just proof like, yeah, see, you ran into this bug. You can't do it. Oh, you don't even know how to type out the first thing into your editor. Yep. See, you can't do it. But it's like, no, if you say I can do this, it's like, OK, I got stuck. Hmm. Why did I get stuck? We're just having a moment of weakness. I got you. You know, we all have those periods, you know mini breakdown it's fine you got this you're fine you're good take the day off you know go go eat some froyo you're good start back tomorrow it's okay we have those days 
it happens. Thank you so much for hanging in there because honestly, we don't need a whole bunch of cocky people in this field. We need people that think differently. So people like you that are actually struggling to get this, we need you because you will add a whole new take on everything. And I actually found out people that used to struggle in computer science, they become the best teachers at this because they can actually dive into what you're feeling or maybe how you would have thought of something. They know the mistakes that you might make and they can lean on to that. So just keep going. You are doing everything right and to keep trying. Listen to the small part of you that is telling you to not give up on your dream. Hey, you are amazing. Okay, I'm really done now.